Hey guys, welcome to Yoga TX. I'm Jen Hillman, and today we got 10 minute abs. All right, so I know we all want tight abs, we all want that sexy bikini body, but I mean, let's be honest, doing core work is nobody's favorite. So we're gonna make this short and sweet and to the point. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about it, we're just gonna get right to it. So like this video, add it to your favorites, and let's get ready to burn some calories and work those abs. All right, so we're gonna start our practice today in downward facing dog. So bring your hands flat on your mat, tuck your toes and lift your hips high to the sky. Extend your chest through your arms to get a nice big stretch in your shoulders. You can pedal your feet a few times, right and left, stretching out the backs of your legs. And slowly inch your toes a little further away from you so you're taking a wider stance on your mat. So you want a nice wide downward facing dog, which is a little bit harder. But hey, we're here to work, right? So from here, Scoop your belly button into your spine, so you round your spine. Shift your weight forward over your hands, coming to a plank position. Try and get a nice flat back, scooping your belly up and in. Then draw your hips back up to that downward facing dog. Extend through your shoulders, press your heels towards the ground, and again, Scoop your belly in, round your spine, shift your weight forward, coming all the way to plank. Then press your hips up and back. And again, scoop your belly in, round your spine, wave your spine long as you open your chest, coming all the way to that plank pose. And then again, lift your hips up and back. And we're gonna do this two more times. Slowly, mindfully, move into your plank pose. Then press yourself back. One more time, scoop your belly in. Round your spine, come all the way forward to your plank pose, and we're gonna pause here. Lift your left leg up and back behind you, and draw your knee in towards your chest. Then you're gonna switch feet like a stealthy ninja. Ha <laughs> ha. We're gonna alternate going back and forth, right and left. So I'm gonna stop talking and do it with you, all right? So I'm here with you. Let's alternate back and forth. Keep going for five, four, three, two, and one. Press yourself back to that downward facing dog stretching your arms and shoulders. <sighs> Come forward into your plank pose again, and this time we're taking side plank. So turn onto the outside of your right foot and extend your left arm to the sky. There's a couple of ways you can modify your pose. You can bring your left foot flat on the floor if that helps. The other option would be to bring your right knee down. Either of these options are fine, or you can take the most advanced option, stacking both legs. Extend your left arm to the sky, take a breath in here, and then fold your left arm to the floor. Inhale, open. Exhale and fold. Inhale. Exhale, two more times. Open 
and close. Open and close. Open it back up. We'll come through center and over to the other side. So your choice. You can bring your right foot flat on the floor. You can bring your left knee on the ground. Or you can stack both legs. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Fold your right fingertips to the ground. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Breathing in and out. Two more. Open and close. Open and close. We'll open it back up and come back through your plank pose and back to your downward facing dog. Take a moment to stretch. Open through your chest and shoulders. Then we're gonna walk your feet forward and come all the way down to sit on the floor. Bring your feet in front of you a few inches and your fingertips back behind you. Press your hands down into the floor to lift your chest up and lengthen through your spine. Rock back on your hips so your feet come away from the floor. And then extend just your right leg. Bring your hands to prayer. Twist towards your left knee and let's switch to the right and to the left. So just flow with me. We're alternating. Keep your spine lifting as tall as you can, bringing your opposite elbow to knee. Find your rhythm, move with your breath. Twist it out a few more times. Really squeeze through your belly, lift through your heart for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. You can squeeze your knees into your chest. Let your belly relax for a moment. Then we're coming all the way down onto the floor. All right. Cross your right knee over your left leg. If you can, you're gonna try to hook your ankles. And if that doesn't work for you today, just press your legs together in the center. It's totally fine. Okay, then we're gonna cross your arms. Bring your right arm underneath your left arm. And if you can, try to cross at your forearms, bringing the palms of your hands together. So you're in an eagle pose lying on your back. Now, lift your head and shoulders, bringing your elbows towards your knees. This is how we prepare. Take a breath in. As you exhale, stretch your fingers and toes away from each other. Try and keep your head off the floor. Exhale, squeeze your belly in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, compress. In and out. Last one, extend your body long, and then squeeze it in. Come down, uncross your legs, and switch to the other side. Bring your left leg over, try to hook your ankles. Then we bring the left arm underneath the right arm. Try to cross at your forearms, bringing your hands together if you can. Lift your head and shoulders to prepare. Take a breath in here. Extend your body long. Squeeze in, extend out. In 
and out. Two more times. Squeeze it in, stretch it out, in and out. Release down. Go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. Let your belly relax. Then extend your feet down to the end of your mat. Bring your hands alongside your body. Bend your elbows like you were watching TV, right? So you lift your shoulders up from here. Press your forearms down into the ground to lift your chest and open your throat. Stretch the front of your belly. Stretch the front of your chest. You can stay right here, but if you want to take it a step further, you can even lift your hips up. Take another couple of breaths here, stretching your front body, stretching your chest and shoulders. If your hips are up, slowly lower them down, and then we all release down to the floor. Take a moment to let your hips relax. Let your palms rotate up to the sky. Feel your chest and shoulders melt into the floor. Close your eyes and just bring your awareness into your belly. Feel your breath as it pulses through your body. Feel that warm, tingling sensation in your core muscles that we just worked. And just appreciate your amazing, strong, and beautiful body. Stay here and relax for as long as you like. And when you're ready, Stretch your arms up overhead, taking a nice, long, full body stretch. Then you can roll yourself over to one side to press yourself up to a seated position. Thank you for joining me in this practice today. I hope you're feeling strong and powerful in just 10 easy minutes. Well, maybe it wasn't so easy, but you keep up the good work and it'll get easier every time. Don't forget to subscribe to the Yoga TX channel and visit our website, yogatx.org. There's lots of great videos there, including some full length DVDs that you can download and visit my website, jenhillman.com, to find out about workshops and retreats in your area so you can come and practice with me live. Have a great day and keep up the good work. Exhale back. And come all the way up to center. Bring your right hand across to your left knee your left hand behind you and just take a gentle twist through your spine.